outside Peru's Congress, hundreds of police continued to reinforce security around the building, only allowing members of Congress's permanent commission to enter the premises. Carlos Tubino, a rebel lawmaker who supported swearing in an interim president on Monday, came under attack. Angry Peruvians threw garbage at him, a show of just how disenchanted Peruvians are with legislators. Legislators helped a thief, one of their own flee. With fake credentials, others gained a seat. Others are involved in drug trafficking. There was a mafia of sex offenders in there. Vizcarra's decision was good. The worst political crisis in decades has left Peruvians confused. A day after President Martin Vizcarra dissolved Congress, the vice president, sworn in as new interim president, resigned. Mercedes Arauz posted a letter on her Twitter account saying the Constitutional Tribunal should decide whether Vizcarra's decision to close Congress is legal. Watching the drama unfold, some Peruvians say things should have gone in a different direction. We have to learn to respect the state powers. Maybe this will change things around. But why couldn't Vizcarra wait for a year? If he couldn't govern, he should have stepped aside. Critics of Vizcarra say he's a weak president. Now members of the opposition majority say he's Peru's new dictator and his decision is a coup d'etat. Surely we will go to international organizations to protect our rights, but also we will march alongside Peruvians to recover our democracy. In the middle of this uncertainty and as the hours go by, President Martin Vizcarra's position is consolidating. He has the army, he has the police, but most importantly, he has the approval of most Peruvians. An opinion poll in May said 71% of Peruvians disapproved of Congress, 63% wanted it closed. On Tuesday, many said they felt relieved. I'm happy because finally they brought down the rat's nest. They supported corruption. Many Peruvians say they want all those involved in corruption jailed and are hoping Martin Vizcarra may deliver that desire if he prevails. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.